Okay. Hello. Boom. Boom. Nice. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous, but I like it. <laughs> oh. Hello, gamer. Ooh, that was respectable damage. Oh, no. Darn, I thought they were chasing after me. I don't know why. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, charge. Nice. Oh boy. Hello? Okay, vanishing. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Twin moon. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Okay, there we go. GG's! Ooh, okay! Man, you just need... <laughs> you just need Miriam's Vanishing, apparently. <laughs> oh. Hello, gamer. <laughs> oh! I see! Oh my god! That third explosion just did 1300 damage. Hello, gamer. You don't want to- Okay, you do got it. You got it. You got it. Hello. Oh, nice. Oh. Alright. <laughs> what? Ooh. Whoa! Was that a blue? Jump. Oh. That blue's rough. Jump. Heal. Oh. Jump. Oh boy. Physic. Alright. Oh. Twin Moon! Boom! Let's go! <laughs> GG's. Dude, the moon's really strong. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, okay. Oh, God. Interesting. Hello. Oh. What? Heal? Nope. Oh. Oh, it still, it still happened. Oh, well, that's interesting. Hello, gamer. <laughs> that kind of, uh... Redeems the spell a little bit. The, the spell is, like, very, very slow. Where are you going? Ah. Oh! <laughs> Almost. Oh, that's right. I always forget that it doesn't have like a follow-up. Huh. Last was played. Blue. Ruin arc. I mean, yeah, you should have had one. <laughs> GG's. Okay, Miram, Miram's vanishing is interesting now. I, I, okay, okay. We're cooking. Oh. Hello, gamers. How you doing? <laughs> okay. Yep, I am here to fight. Whoa. Uh. Vanishing. Boom. No, they left. Oh, boy. Stop attacking the rats. Moon! Oh! The other one hit! Ba 
vanishing away <laughs> heal oh no I'm getting poisoned I was just rolling around in the poison wasn't I okay yeah I'm, I'm poisoned now too. oh no I don't have anything for poison oh god oh boy Dude, close. Oh, blue. Heal. Vanishing. In a move Oh, nice. Boom. Oh, oh no. Nope. Vanishing. Double moon. Darn. I tried. Charge. Oh. I can't see the bush. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, let's go. Vanishing. Oh, oh, nice. Vanishing. Star shower. Charge. Blue. Star shower. Oh. Okay, that time vanishing actually kind of worked. <laughs> I don't nearly need to use it as often as I'm, I am using it. Oh. 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 There it is. <laughs> I had no blue, right? Yeah, I knew. I was like, dude, I have to just... I have to use it the old... <laughs> I have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm... Oh, God. Rock. I guess I'm really good vanishing. Practice here. Heal. I think it would have killed me if he had blue there. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh, nice. I like the mix up. Nice. GG's. Good fight. Dude, okay, parts of that was very sloppy using Miram's Vanishing, but there's there's some there's parts in there where it's useful. But you gotta use it like a burst, I guess. You can't use it like this. <laughs> Which I, I was doing. Oh boy. Hello gamers. Oh god! <laughs> I thought I had comment. Hello. Ooh. Hey. Hello. What's going on? <laughs> Charge? Oh. Oh. oh boy. What buffs did I have? Oh, the physic. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, this build really doesn't rely on the physic. It relies on blue. Hello. Oh, it's a thing. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Oh god! Whoa! Okay. Interesting. Ooh. Hello. Oi, where are you going? Blue. Don't try running. In fact, I want you to run after me. <laughs> Boom! No. Nope. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Nope. Oh. oh, come on. Dude, I almost had that with the Marim's vanishing. Almost. Oh! He just attacks so often. Oh. Oh. Woo! Nice. Oh, no, no more blue. Okay, blue. Star shower. Alright. I definitely think I can hit a twin moon here. I don't understand where he's going, though. Oh, to summon? Okay, here it is. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. Oh! Nope. He escaped it. 
Oh my god, this is such a weird battle, but I'm having fun trying out. Miriam's vanishing. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> I'm just throwing so much at him. The twin moon, the vanishing, the moon veil. Very good fight. Also, dude, in PvP, that head is pretty much just like a flat nerf, isn't it? Because they don't get, a, 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 like, enough healing from their flasks. <laughs> well, GG's. Hey. What up, guys? This is the build I was using in this video. It is my rune level 299 intelligence spellcaster. So every int weapon, every int spell on this build hits for its absolute hardest. I have the Moon Veil and the Wing of Estelle here for weapons, but... I really wasn't too worried about my weapon choices today. I just had Moonveil because of how crazy some of these DLC PvP weapons are. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, make sure that I had something that could protect myself in close range just in case I get, like, you know, <laughs> blind spotted or whatever. Uh, I have Rolana's Rilan armor here. Looks very nice with the Moonveil and the Lusat's Glintstone staff. And. I'm using the Cerulean Amber Medallion plus three with the Graven School Talisman, Warrior Jar Shard, which is like, eh, and the Green Turtle Talisman. I didn't get the two-headed yet from the th for the DLC, but right now this is fine. Um, Warrior Jar Shard is okay because of the skills, but keep in mind, there we do have a Talisman now that slowly restores our FP, so this will always be worth it for Spellcasters. Now, it's not the most. You get like one or two FP every three seconds or something. Uh, but consider the fact that like things like Moonveil really don't really use that much. So it's possible when the pl when uh, you're in an invasion and you have some time to wait around, it's kind of nice just to have it. But for now, I didn't really need the FP, <laughs> the FP, uh, the slow FP restoration because I am using Rilana's Twin Moons, which is going to eat up my FP bar. Oh. Oh. Considering how absolutely powerful that spell is, if it hits, I really don't mind the FP cost on that. Um, and also, since it's a little bit awkward to use, just, you know, running up to somebody and just using it, I have Miriam's Vanishing. And I don't know what it is about the spell, but it's actually really good. <laughs> it's just... It kind of looks like Bloodhound Step, I get it, but uh, it's a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit more stalled, like you only have so much time to really do the Bloodhound Step, but it's so funny seeing people get like absolutely turned around by how you're going to teleport, and then you can just set up either a Moon Veil, or what I like doing is, let's say they're playing super aggressive, instead of just going right into the moon, you use the Vanishing, and then use the moon. Because you can use the moon pretty much right after you vanish. So it's really interesting, the timing on that. Because you you create extra space, and then you can also use a spell that takes advantage of their aggressive playstyle. Um, Rolanda's Twin Moon is definitely not the easiest to land. So you definitely got to be able to read your opponents and know exactly, you know, know exactly how they're about to attack you. <laughs> But aggressively, you can definitely just use Vanishing, get behind him, and just pull out a Moon Veil. And I find that to be very, very effective. That's pretty much the... I don't know. That's pretty much the bottom idea, I guess. The base idea. I was like, oh, Vanishing's pretty cool. Let's say you Vanish and maybe even Nebula. But Nebula's a little bit too slow. So you need something that activates really fast, and Moon Veil does that. Um, even if you Vanish into the Twin Moons... And as long as they, if they hit you out of it, you still have a chance to drop at least one, one of those impacts. So you can still damage even if you get hit out of it. And then if you damage them at all with those twin moons, they're going to be low and the moon veil just shreds. Uh, but yeah, intelligence builds are definitely really strong. Uh, I really enjoyed this talisman uh, just to add some extra FP because it is a pretty sizable amount. I think I go from like 270 to 324. So, like, that is just an extra spell cast, basically. For the most part. <laughs> I mean, Star Shower, you're probably getting a lot out of that. But Star Shower, of course, is still strong, so... I 
I basically still have the strong spells on here, like, like Comet and Star Shower, just in case Twin Moons aren't hitting, but Twin Moon is very powerful, and Miriam's Vanishing can set it up very well. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's honestly really cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the build. Uh, definitely pulled out Moonveil. It's just like, there's no reason not to use something as powerful as this now. Because DLC weapons in PvP are very powerful. Like blind spot and like the the slashes and stuff. So don't hold back. Make sure you bring if you're an int build, bring out the moon veil. <laughs> it's just gonna It's just gonna make things a little bit more even. Maybe even give you an advantage in certain cases. And if you do have the moon veil, try it out with Mirror and Vanishing. It's pretty fun. But yeah, that's the build. Thanks for watching.